Well, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I literally just finished up filming another video and I realized that I did not intro um, my Best of Village vlog. So I am introing my Best of Village vlog. I really like these kind of videos. Um, it kind of gives you a sense of like what you can expect if you're making the journey to Vista Village. Depending on where you live, it might not be around the corner. So you want to know that it's like a worthwhile place to go. Yeah, we had a really nice day there. I tried to get as much footage as I could in like the high-end luxury stores. Hopefully you enjoy the video. Let me know if you're heading there anytime soon and what you think about the deals and etc, etc. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling on. Enjoy the vlog and I will see you in my next video. that we went into first was Gucci. They had a nice selection of shoes and bags in some actually decent colors, which I don't know, I was a bit surprised at. Um, obviously nothing was quote unquote cheap, but you know, some of the discounts were actually really impressive. Yeah, and they, they had some nice like wearable styles, some really nice boots, lots of trainers, lots of shoes with that sort of like horse, bit design i think that's what it's called they also had some espadrilles which were actually a decent price for gucci um in leather and in canvas yeah nothing really piqued my interest too much shoe wise but if you're into gucci i think you probably find something that you you actually like So this is an example of what I expect when I think of outlets. The shape I liked, but the snake print, like, yeah, it was a bit much for me. Um, anyway, onto small bags and SLGs. They had a great selection of these in like lots of popular colors. They had cream and tan and black and red. I'm not sure if these items are discontinued or if they were made specifically for the outlet because I'm not sure if I've seen them on the Gucci website. I quite like this range here with the suede and the black trim. It gave me very like vintage vibes. I'm trying to stick to my wish list um, for now and not get sidetracked, but I did think that these were cute. Um, so yeah. <laughs> so next we went into dior they have a really nice selection of shoes i have to say they had some pretty classic options in popular colors which was great i thought the discounts were decent in relation to the original price but definitely not cheap so if you're after you know this kind of shoe specifically then then it would be perfect um of course it wouldn't be an outlet without some wacky designs and colors oh my gosh i was obsessed with these boots i think both colors were such a classic it seemed like the main bag or one of the main bags in the store was a diorama they had quite a few different colors and i think the proper bag version of it was about 1500 pounds i have always loved the diorama so i was kind of in heaven i think i have to add this to my wish list like yeah in person it is such a beautiful bag um so if you're a fan of that bag head down to bista village <laughs> Next, we went into Burberry because one of the main things that I was looking for at Vista was a Burberry trench. And yeah, I fell in love with this one. We touch, we break, make Honestly, I thought YSL was such a disappointment. I was not impressed by their bag or SLG selection really. They had a couple of nice like Cassandra bags without the top handle, which I personally prefer. I really like that style of bag and they weren't a bad price, but overall I, I just wasn't impressed with YSL. They did have a really beautiful burgundy sac de jour. Um, 
and they did have some like decent heels but yeah i don't know overall i was just hoping for a bit more i was hoping for a few different like handbag styles <laughs> Okay, so Jimmy Choo had some really great boots. The discounts weren't crazy. I feel like you could get similar prices, maybe even cheaper prices during sale periods. I feel like lots of Jimmy Choo's do go into the sale, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> So just to give you some background on our Bista experience, we went on a Tuesday and I would say before lunch it wasn't too busy. Some stores had the digital queuing system like thing outside but it wasn't really in use in the morning. Um, in the afternoon it was a bit busier and there were a few more queues. Outside stores like Dior, Gucci and Prada um, and a few others. The thing I would say with Bista is you probably won't get like crazy amazing deals. Like <laughs> there were a couple of really good deals, but not loads from what I saw. That said, I think it's a good shout if there's something from a specific brand that you want, like say boots or a jacket or like a one-off dress or, you know, something like that. My biggest thing with outlet shopping is not to get sucked into a supposed deal. Just because something was 800 pounds and now it's 500 pounds, like that's still 500 pounds coming out of your pocket. So, you know, just because it's cheaper doesn't mean it's cheap. I would say my overall feeling about Bista Village was now that I've seen what's there, I would go back for some specific things, but otherwise, you know, I'd rather shop in the regular stores if I'm spending that sort of money anyway. Um, yeah, for me, I just rather not be limited on colors and styles and just put you know my money towards exactly what i want are you trying from your place miss your lips but i hate the taste no fun in this game i will call all the blows because your zen bodies isn't i was really hoping to find an amazing like shearling aviator jacket at reese or all saints but sadly i didn't have any luck um these jackets i'm trying on here were from all saints i believe um yeah but they just weren't doing it for me so i'm definitely still on the hunt <laughs> um this jacket was from balenciaga is about 1200 pounds which i think maybe is a decent discount from balenciaga but yeah, it wasn't my size. And honestly, I had no business 
trying it on anyway. We keep playing games, can't go separate ways, break up all the same. We keep playing games. I am actually a really big fan of the Rockstar bag from Valentino. They actually had quite a few of them in the store. But most of the colours and materials were kind of what you'd expect at the outlet, you know? I think there's probably people out there that can pull these bags off, but I am not one of them. At least it was worth a try. One was particularly wacky this was like a full fur bag and i was like this makes me feel weird we touch we break make it seem like we feel the same we love what we have We were like getting ready to leave so I didn't try these on but I really did love these V logo sandals and I think these might be ones to consider for the future for sure. I have to say Prada was definitely a standout in terms of selection. I can see why there was a queue in the afternoon for sure. There were some really great bags and shoes in there so definitely worth a visit if you go to Bista. I'm not really a Prada fan if I'm honest but this bag it got me very very excited. Well, we fell apart just in time. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Let me know if there was anything that caught your eye. Um, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.